Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> Sorry. This is just me gr gushing over Rayquaza and May. <laughs> What up, David here with another episode of Pokemon Evolutions. We are at episode six, The Wish, which actually, is, it's gonna be a gen three episode. And I thought it would be about Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, but now that the episode's called The Wish, I think it might be about Jirachi. So who knows? I do know that Zinnia is on the thumbnail for this video and guess who never finished Omega Ruby? This guy! So I have no idea who Zinnia is! Cause she wasn't in original Ruby, so let's go! Let's see what I can learn. Cause I'm in the dark yet again. <laughs> oh, don't start with a sunset. You know I have a thing for sunsets. Oh, it looks so good. That ball is an ultra one. Yeah, I, I know nothing about her. I never got that far. Oh, but there's Latios. She has a Latios? That's hers? Well. So. So far, it's beautiful. I mean, again, it's cheating. Sunsets are like my weakness. It's like my Achilles heel. May. Yeah, I really like the way this one's color balanced. So, you came for me. I thank you for that. Since you've been good, I'll give you something I've been keeping for this very occasion. Look there. The painting shows tales passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids. Huh. And now the time has come for me to pass that lore on to you. Say what? There's a lot I don't know. <laughs> May got mega evolution. We got a meteoroid impacted on the surface of the planet. The land cracked. Huh. So mega evolution came from space. Just like Clefairy. Energy poured out from deep beneath Hoenn, thirsting for that bounty of power. Two legendary Pokémon. Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon fought in a series of endless, furious clashes. Huh. Okay. So we got Behemoth and Leviathan fighting up a storm. Wait, are Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre mega evolutions of Groudon and Kyogre? I never knew that. Is that a thing? I really need to finish... Omega Ruby. Oh. oh, yo, I didn't even realize it was playing the legendary song. That's cool. My people could only watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. Huh. So, they made a wish for salvation. But Rayquaza, the legendary Pokemon, would appear. Okay. God, an emerald light. This wish was able to bring people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to completely change its appearance. Okay. Man. One of my fondest memories. Yeah, one of my fondest memories was catching Rayquaza in original Ruby. And Primal Kyogre vanished into the depths of land and sea. Because he kept using rest. He kept using rest, and with full HP, I was out of Ultra Balls. And I had to use Premier Balls. I had like 99 of them, and I just lobbed them. That was like a day. <laughs> it was like three hours, but still. When you're a kid, that takes a while. <laughs> so, that's interesting. It's... 
So far, not the most eventful episode, because it's just literally exposition. Oh, the sunset, the light, her face, the shadow. Oh my god, that was so good. I'm not going to make that a thumbnail, though, because it just doesn't show her face in light. But they foretold that a meteoroid would fall on this land again. Mm. One far greater than those that had come before. Great enough to break the world forever. Ugh, oh, Hoenn. Gotta love Hoenn. I spent a long time thinking about how I, someone who holds both the knowledge and the power, could protect as many people as possible. Oh, a little whisper. Whoa. Is she bad? And that brings us to the end of our tale. Welcome to the Dragon Heart Altar. She doesn't seem like a bad guy. The show is about to start. Why are you being so snatchy, May? Ever since I was a little girl so full of uncertainty that I felt my heart might be completely crushed by it, I've always turned my eyes up to the endless sky above. Now you know what I'm trying to do. I intend to use the Mega Evolution Keystones I've acquired to summon Rayquaza in order to destroy the meteoroid headed for Hoenn. That is my solemn duty. Okay. So far you don't seem pretty bad. Am I missing something? Oh, May! You look so good! If something happens to me, please, take this little one. Oh. Wait, so is the whole idea that your character thinks she's, like, a bad guy? Until this moment? Because she never seemed that bad. Again, just by this video. Again, I gotta play the game. Whoa, that looks like trading card art there, with that funky background. Oh my god, he looks so good! Great Rayquaza, hear my wish! Show me your true face! I never saw him looking that intimidating before. Hey, come on, please, show me! Hmm. Then, the one without enough power is... You, Rayquaza? <laughs> she just throws a master ball, kills the moment. Oh wait, is she actually okay? <laughs> Eat it. Gotta take your vitamins. Yo, he looks so cool. I mean, he always did, but in this particular animation, I really like the way he's drawn. Rayquaza has had a history of looking kind of derpy at times. Great protector, Rayquaza, chose you. Whoa. And has forsaken me. The only Whoa. one who can direct it now is you. That was a little jarring. That looked really cool. That looked like classic overworld shenanigans. Yo. Agron! Hey, we got a little legendary battle here. Oh, whoa, okay, we're switching out. Oh, Altaria is such a cool... Altaria is underrated. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> Sorry. This is just me gr gushing over Rayquaza and May. <laughs> we got Swampair. Definitely not anime May. Oh. oh that was so... She's throwing a Pokeball at a picture of Rayquaza. Uh-uh. No. Not one. Not one. Not one. 
Not one. Oh, that's fake news. That's fake news. No. No, this would have gone on for some some time. We they definitely cut some stuff out. I thank you. Precisely 75 time Ultra Balls for my final were cut day. out. And that and bitch never used rest! Of my people. Fake news. She had it easy. Wait, did that have did that take all night? Is the sun coming up? Cause it was sunset before. Oh, hello. I've never seen this version of Rayquaza, primal Rayqu what the hell? Oh god. I've always turned my eyes up to the endless sky above. Got Brenda Chu and May Chu. Oh, that was interesting. And there was some action in there. Kind of a slow start. Again, I'm not a big fan of just storytelling. I, I really like that legendary theme. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that was the first legendary theme I ever heard, because Mewtwo's was the wild Pokemon theme, and... Ho-Oh was also just the wild Pokemon theme in original gold version. Uh, so, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, uh, ah, man, memories. Memories did come back, even though I have no idea who Zinnia is, but I believe that's how you pronounce her name, too. Anyway, that was quite, quite interesting. I liked an episode revolving around Rayquaza because I, don't, I feel like Rayquaza doesn't get a lot of love, especially, like, in the anime, I don't remember if Rayquaza even did anything, because there was a whole sequence with Groudon and Kyogre, with Ma Maxi and Archie, and it was like a whole shebang. But, man, Hoenn, though. I love Hoenn. It's my favorite gen generate. uh... Yeah, I think Hoenn is still my favorite generation, honestly. It's definitely my favorite region. If... It's funny, because Vermilion City is my favorite city in Pokemon, in Kanto, but I think as a, for whole regions, Hoenn is my favorite. So, question of the day, what is your favorite city and or region in the Pokemon universe? It doesn't have to correlate with your favorite generation, unless it does. But I think like, even if, like let's say, for example, Gen 4 is your favorite, I totally understand if Sinnoh is not your favorite region. Because I feel like, you know, because Pokemon is, does such a good job with world building, each region kind of has its own thing going on. There's also other regions, like... Yeah, the, I think it's called the Or Or region, the one in Colosseum. Like, you know, you got funky places in the Pokemon world. So that's the question of the day. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really like this one. I, I mean, I really like all of them. The animation's always great. Rayquaza looked badass. And May looked just as good as she, I always think she does. <laughs> so I'm going to end this off here. But what was your favorite part? For now, I'm going to end it up. How many times am I going to say I'm going to end this? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Bladed Cross, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the... Ugh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll see you all in the next one. For now, this is Dave out. Peace out. I'm in a silly mood today.